Mike Murdoch, Saturday night. Thank you for watching my little seven or eight minute videos. Wished I could make them two minutes, but I got so much inside me. I've read the Bible through over a hundred times. I sit four and a half hours a day for four and a half months memorizing the New Testament from the famous legendary Jerry Lucas, San Francisco. I still don't understand contradictions in the Bible. Don't know why, just hard. But I want to talk to you about the Bible. I went through a two year period when I had problems over the infallibility of the scriptures. What if I was wrong? I studied Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, even in the midst of ministry. I didn't want to be wrong. I have two great fears in my life. The first fear is the fear of believing a lie. My favorite scripture in the Bible is Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that he should lie. My second greatest fear is the fear of not communicating my gratitude sufficiently. One of the top five mistakes of my lifetime is, I want to say it right, not communicating the depth of my thankfulness. For many years in my ministry, I thought a receipt letter was a thank you. The Holy Spirit had to deal with me a lot. I consider the worst sin on the earth is unthankfulness. It was the first sin ever committed by Lucifer, the chief most beautiful angel God had ever made. He went bad in God's presence. Judas went bad in God's presence. Absalom went bad in God's presence. Now I want to say to every mother watching me, don't you ever take the blame for a child who goes bad. I'm not saying you were perfect. I'm just saying every person who went bad had opportunities, golden opportunities, to become good. The story of Job, I've read it over and over and over. The Bible says, and by the way, Job was the first of the 66 books in the Bible. The Bible says that Job was a perfect man. The Bible says that. The Bible indicates he had never really sinned, but Satan appeared in God's presence and challenged God to let him have a go at Job. And he said, the reason Job serves you is because you're so good to him. The rest is history. But there's one scripture in Job 42, the 42nd chapter of Job that I think about every single day of my life. When Job prayed for his friends, when he became an intercessor, when he got himself involved in prayer, God turned the tragedy around and gave him twice as much money as he had ever earned in his lifetime. For some reason, I want 2024 to be your double year. I want it to be your double blessing year. In a few moments, I'll give you my phone number if you want to call or 1-800-MINISTRY. If you call one 800 ministry. 
the staff will bring your covenant to me. But I just want to pray a few moments. First, you can't stop all the tragedy. God couldn't stop Lucifer from turning on him. Jesus could not stop Judas from turning on him. Decisions are a gift from the Lord to everybody. Even bad people get to make decisions. Jesus is hanging on the cross between two bad people. One cusses him and one says, would you remember me? And Jesus said, you'll be with me today. Father, first I thank you for the revelation of the Bible. 56 hours to read it through. I thank you for unlocking faith in us because faith comes when we hear something you would say. Faith comes when we hear God talk. Faith comes when we say something you would say. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Father, for some reason, 2024, I don't think it's going to be a day or a year of unprecedented trials. I think it's going to be catch-up time. You will not lie to us. And you told us in Mark chapter 10 that anything we would give up for you would come back to us a hundredfold in houses and in lands. In Jesus' name. I pray for you tonight on this Saturday night. And I hope you send my little videos to all your friends. There's some, there's some wisdom keys in them. But I don't want you to lose hope. I believe that you have a lot of good seeds that you planted that's never come up yet. It'll come up in 2024. You watch. Write that down. My clock shows 620. Brother David, about 628. 628. Yes, sir. 628. And I'm going to ask you to go to my website, MikeMurdochBooks.com, and I just showed you this, if you can see that. 817-750-BOOK. The book number is 35. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, if you want to screenshot that, I think it'll make a difference. I could be wrong. But when Job focused to become the healer to some people, and, and his friends were sick people. They were sick. One of some of the worst words ever spoken in the Bible in the book of Job by his circle of friends. But I believe when you focus and say, Father, touch my son-in-law with your presence. Father, send a good voice close to my son. Father, Give my daughter discerning of all evil people. When you get involved with others, God will get involved with you. I want to come back for another one about Joseph.